Hello, this is Sanjay Sane from Sane's Academy. In this video, you are going to see the problem with multiple outputs using TensorFlow. Hence, let's understand the code. To begin with, I have over here loaded my data set. Now, as you see, my response variable will contain now two dimensional data. It will be Y1 and Y2. Well, here. Now we do the trend test split to begin with and also the scaling as it's required for our neural network. Then here goes our code. Let's understand this code. Here as you see that our input is there our and our input goes as, as the input to dense one which contains seven neurons. As you see dense one which contains actually seven neurons it is it is outputting seven neurons basically with ReLU activation and the output will go as an input to dense two hence here it is dense two dense two has an output with five neurons and this serves as the input to the two layers dense three and dense 4. So you will find over here dense 2 has served as the input to both dense 4 and dense 3. And y1 is having the input from dense 3. y2 is having input from dense 4 and hence is the case which is seen over here. You will find one different thing over here that outputs over here when we are declaring the outputs or we are specifying the outputs in the model function we are specifying them with a list because now this time the outputs are multiple y1 output and y2 output hence those have been defined actually those have been specified with list also losses are going to be different sometimes it may also happen that one of the outputs may be uh, a categorical another output may be numerical in that case the the specifying losses over here may differ so it may happen that if you have a if you have a categorical output then in that case the entropy or by made might be binary entropy binary cross entropy or categorical entropy for multi class classification will be there and so accordingly the loss should be specified as the type as is the type of that particular output having done this then we move towards the fitting model fitting i have over here uh, use reduce on plateau as one of my callbacks well so having done this you will find uh, the learning has taken place with our nice uh, optimization which has happened well we didn't apply early stopping here we, we could have applied early stopping uh, well i encourage you to try early stopping also on this and here comes our predicted value so this this is set of predicted values you will find these are going to be uh, scaled values we need to scale them back or i can say we need to inverse transform them back and hence these are going to be our outputs the link of this notebook has been provided in the description section of this video feel free to download and try this code on your own thanks for watching this video for more updates from me do subscribe to my channel if you like this video don't forget please to click on the like button. Thank you.